Hello, and welcome to day one of the bagpipe video diary. Bagpipes are known for being very noisy, but uh, you can get uh, what they call practice chanters. Uh, it turned up today. It's my chanter. It is actually my birthday today, uh, and as a result I'm not working. My wife and I are on the way out uh, to have lunch and found this on the doorstep, and I unfortunately I took it out. Uh, put it together and started playing it. So you've actually missed the first time ever that I attempted to play the bagpipes. Uh, but I have to say um, that so far it's it's not been too challenging. <laughs> They're not much of a challenge there. Okay, I appreciate there's more to bagpipes than just playing this bit, um, but so far so good. The real bugger about bagpipes, though, is it's not it's not the tune. You've got these these little notes in here. These called grace notes or drop notes, and they make it rather harder. Uh, and it, it, it's those notes that sort of give it that authentic bagpipe sound. I can't even fathom out what I'm supposed to be playing. This note here which is an A, that's A. Well, on a flute, that's a D. On a saxophone, that's a D. On an oboe, that's a D. And on a clarinet, that's a G. On no other instrument is that an A. <laughs> so I'm looking at this and... Right, so I thought uh, we should explore <clears throat> the uh, Highland Bagpipe Tutor Student Manual. Fingering chart, yep. An abbreviated history of the bagpipes. <laughs> uh, getting started, already done that. Uh, introduction to music notation, yeah, did that 30 years ago. Basic counting, one, two, three, four. Check, practicing. Mm. Never very good at that. I'm not going to bother with chapter one. Chapter two. Exercises for the right hand. I didn't know Adam had written a chapter. Hand exercises for the left hand. Ambidextrous. Using both hands. Uh, as far as I can establish, bagpipes only really do A major. You basically you play stuff in A major or you don't play it at all. Now you see, I'm falling down again here because I haven't equated the fingering to the notes. Do I care? No, I should care. No, I should really do this properly. If I'm going to do it, I should do it properly. Right, I just nailed this, but I can't do it now. Terrible. 
Right. Okay. So, that's brilliant. Thank you for that. Uh, well, I've just had my first uh, experience at playing a full set of pipes. And I have to say, it was uh, about what I was expecting. It's not easy. I think I did okay. I think for, for my first go on a full set of pipes, I didn't, didn't disgrace myself. Uh, I was in an amazing disgrace. And yes, it's Thursday today. Uh, and on Monday, I go away for a week. Then I'm back for one day, and then we go to Edinburgh. My family goes to Edinburgh. And then at the end of that week, we've got a show. So I've actually only got a couple of weeks to get this right now. And suddenly that huge amount of time that I had has just evaporated. So having a decent set of pipes, I think, is going to make a huge difference. Um, I'm going to have to take them on holiday with me. Uh, and I'm going to have to <laughs> stand on the beach playing the bagpipes. I'm going to be popular. Sorry, stand on the beach playing the bag bagpipes badly. Uh, at this point, still don't know what I'm going to be playing in the show, if I'm going to be playing them at all. So, um, I mean, bagpipes are not an easy instrument to play. Are they the hardest instrument I've tried to play? No. The violin is far and away the hardest instrument I've tried to play, to the point where I've given up. So, that was back in the summer. Uh, it's now winter. Um, the show's long over. Um, I just wanted to let you know that uh, despite taking my bagpipes on holiday, sorry, Cameron's bagpipes on holiday, uh, they didn't actually leave the box once. Um, I was back for one day from a holiday before then going to Edinburgh uh, with the family and uh, they didn't come out of the box that day either. Um, so in fact, uh, the only time that I got to play the bagpipes with the band was um, on rehearsal on the stage um, like minutes before uh, the doors actually opened. Uh, so it was all a bit... Uh, I kind of decided that the only way I was going to get through this was um, by sheer willpower and the determination to <laughs> succeed. <laughs> and that I would just, I would just, uh, just do it. I was just going to do it, um, and there was no question of failure. Um, so, uh, uh, fortunately, uh, I would uh, jump off stage. Uh, I'd also get change. I had a costume change to do. I had to put a kilt and a sporran on, um, uh, and then get the bagpipes uh, on me uh, and inflated. And pretty much by the time I'd done that, it was time to go on. So I didn't have time to think about it. Didn't have time to contemplate. Uh, the fact that I was going to crash and burn, uh, and uh, here's the result. Thank <laughs> you.